Hi, my name's Sean Conboy. I specialise in architectural interior photography and I've been asked by Hasselblad today to give you a few basic tips on architectural photography. The first tip I want to say about architectural photography, first of all, is probably you need to think about the light. Where is the light coming from? What angle is it coming from and the way it hits the building or the interior space you're trying to photograph? So we all dash out there and think this looks like a great photograph of this building or space, but what's gonna be the best time of day to take that photograph? When is the light gonna be in the right position? Because remember, obviously you can't move the building, but the sun moves. So think about where the light's coming from. While we're talking about light, another tip is you don't have to photograph in daylight. You can also photograph in twilight or blue hour, early in the morning, late in the evening. I personally prefer to shoot in the evenings and then it can bring out all the other light sources that might be within the building, whether it be internally or externally, and you can get a different look to your photography. It can also be very useful if the day's not the most nicely lit day, the light's not beautiful that day, but the twilight might still work for you, and give you another way of looking at that interior space or exterior building. Look at the proportion of what you're photographing. We've all been there in New York with all the tall skyscrapers, and we can end up with a lot of photographs just looking up at tall buildings. So think about where you are in relation to that building or that interior space that you're photographing. Might it work better if you're further away from your subject? Okay, and maybe not use quite a wide angle lens. So think about where you are in relation to your building, okay, which will help with your viewpoints and your compositions. So basically, don't just rush out and take that shot. Have a good walk around what you want to photograph. Get close, get far away, look for different viewpoints. Another good tip with architectural photography is to think about your leading lines, which can lead you into the building and take you through that space. So a line might lead you into your composition and take you through the space and out the other side. So think about how lines can lead you into what you're photographing, whether it be internal or external. So look at those lines within what you're photographing. Put the building into context or the space into context. Sometimes it's nice to get way back from what you're photographing and put it into its surroundings. What is around it? Is it more buildings? Is it countryside? Is it a fantastic sky? So try and think about those other elements and how you can make them within your photograph and put what your subject, the building or the interior, within what's around it.